Hello. Got a challenge lock here from Mao. We're gonna see if we can get into. Use very light tension going counterclockwise. It's a very weird lock to pick. The most annoying bit in here is probably one, just because it loves to drop down and it's very hard to access it because it's cut way up there. There you go, I think you got him. Two is a T pin, I think, just because it likes to click and then do nothing for a long time. Look at that, or it's a Christmas tree pin or something along those lines. Four just feels like a bunch of spools. Five is a threaded chamber, I believe. Okay, that was another quick edit too, when I followed the false set all the way down. Oh, that was it. So I was floating it. Cool, let's get in. Let's get into this guy. So, yeah. Um, I, I mostly float pick this lock so I don't actually follow it all the way down into most of its false sets just because most of the pins give very good counter rotation um, just outside of where they bind. Um, it was actually interesting that it opened then because usually five is the last one to bind, but I guess uh, it can be a little inconsistent. Um, I haven't got it this thing. Oh yeah, let's... Uh, Mess up the unscrewing. We got the uh, key here wrapped in some masking tape. Yeah, that looks about right. So it looks like it's. This is. Oh, he bitted this himself. Um, so we got really high cuts on one, two, three is not even a low cut. It's it's like a three three cut, and then four and five are just all the way up there. So he basically just designed this to make room for all of his bullshit. Works beautifully. I'm using a um, broken pick to press this in. Never underestimate the usefulness of those. Once upon a time, I threw out my broken picks. Well, I guess I've only never had to deal with that once or twice, but... Now I have a tool for... Uh, whatever. I, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. So I'm not going to say it, I'm just going to get this lock. Um, let's see. That seems, that seems about right. Hopefully uh, nothing gets caught up in there. Didn't tell me I needed a shim, so if you didn't tell me that, I'm not going to assume it.
hung up a little bit there. There we go. And we've got the uh, construction core here. Um, hope he wasn't trying to trap me. <laughs> good, good thing I picked it counterclockwise. All right, so you can see right here at the top already, there's um, some rounding off on the top of the pins. I think that's to give counter rotation to try to trap you in a false set. Um, and I'll admit that he definitely got me a few times doing that. One is standard, two looks like it's a trap pin, or you know, just a spool with a rounded off top. You really rounded off those tops. Um, three looks like another pin designed to trap you, but with an extra element just to make you think that you're clicking it. Oh man, I was completely wrong on which core was threaded. is also another pin for that. And five looks like it's a standard. Yep, just a standard. I think he uh, I think he did one and five as standards just so that uh you couldn't look into the lock from the front or back and, and like figure out what the pins are. Um let's uh figure out what was done to the core here. So one is counter milled nice and deep. So we can get a look at that. So that's counter milled nice and deep. Both sides. Two is standard. Three has uh, some serrations there. They don't go very deep. It's just a couple of a couple of serrations there. Um, four is standard and five is also counter milled. So we've got counter milling on one, five, one and five, and threading on three. All right, let's take a look up top. I apologize, I am rather slow at gutting things, so. My videos always end up a little bit long. I'm used to filming from the right, so I'm gonna try to angle this towards you a little bit. But, eh, screw it. All right, so what do we have in number one? That is a fun looking pin. That looks like a, uh, I don't know, he did that to the other side. So that's a nice double spool there. Two. It's just a nice deep spool. Three is a serrated pin. Nice deep serrations there. Yeah, I kept getting these suspiciously deep false sets off of three and that key pin is why. That key pin in particular caught me a few times, I believe. Four. I hope I am putting these in the correct direction. It looks like these are actually mostly key pins that he used, which you know, makes sense because key pins tend to have a little bit more meat to work with. And then five is that uh, with another double spool. Um, so springs in one through four all look to be the same, um, except five is different. I'm gonna try to keep these in order. We got a steel spring in five. The springs in two through four are all the same. All right, let me give you guys a better look at the 
these pins here. There we go. Challenge lock from Mal. Where's the core? We'll get it in there. Awesome. Thanks, Mal, for the lock. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, let me know who you want me to send it to next. Have a good one.